us open our Bible to Psalm 124. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. I want to welcome you to this broadcast this morning, and I am so excited that you join us this morning. And I'm trusting God the Lord will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want us to open our mouth and just give thanks to God this morning before you say faithful God. Amen. Don't give your hands to God wherever you have the word of God. And say, Father, we just thank you for the gift of life that you are given to us. So, Father, we appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you, faithful God. Thank you for the in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I want to read this morning from Psalm 124, verse 6 and 7. He said, Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as a prey to their teeth. Our soul is escaped as a bed out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Hallelujah. Amen. This is our month of victory. This is our month of triumph. Amen. And I believe this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. you will experience total victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the fourth month of the year, you will testify Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You see, our mouth, our soul is escaped as a bed out of the snare of the fowler. He said, the snare is broken. In your life, the snare is broken. Amen. In your destiny, the snare is broken. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Say, we are escaped. I believe you are escaped in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You have escaped coronavirus. Amen. You have escaped the agenda of the enemy. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2, Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. He said, now, thanks be unto God which always also to triumph in Christ and make manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place. I want us to open our mouth this morning and just begin to appreciate it because this is a amount of total beauty. Amen. This is a amount of triumph. Amen. This is a amount of celebration. Amen. Just open your mouth wherever you are over the world and begin to appreciate God because this month you have escaped you have escaped, the snare is broken. You have escaped, you have escaped, you have escaped the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken, you have escaped. Just open your mouth because it is our God that calls you to triumph in Christ Jesus. Give thanks to God this morning before it's your month of total victory. Appreciating this morning because it's your month of triumph. It's your month of testimony. It's your month of celebration. I appreciate God because this month you will win. This month you will conquer. This month you will celebrate. The enemy will not defeat you. This month you will not be defeated. This month you will grant the mercy of God. This month your enemy will not try over you. This month you shall not be put to shame. Your also will not be put to shame. Appreciate him, honor him, honor him, exalt him. Because God calls all to triumph in Christ Jesus always. Appreciate him this morning. Give him glory, give him honor. Appreciate him because you have escaped the agenda of the enemy. You have escaped the plan of the enemy. You have escaped this morning. You have escaped. You have escaped. You have escaped. The snare is broken. The snare is broken. You have escaped also. You have escaped already. Give praise to God this morning. Lord, we bless you, Lord. We appreciate you. Glory be to your name. In Jesus' precious name, we give thanks. Amen. I read from John chapter 10, verse 10. He said, The thief coming not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. I tell you this morning that devil is a thief. Devil is a waster. Devil is a destroyer. But I pray for you in this fourth month, you shall not be destroyed. Amen. Your life will not be wasted. Amen. Your resources will not be wasted. Amen. Your family shall not be wasted. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Devil is a thief. Hallelujah. Amen. So this morning we are going to pray again the agenda of the enemies. Mm -hmm. The agenda of darkness in the fourth month. We are going to destroy the agenda of darkness in this quarter. Why? Because the enemy wants to stop your progress. For I pray for you, your progress shall not be stopped. Amen. Your progress shall not be reversed. Amen. God has blessed you so much in the last 
Three months. Devil wants to waste it, want to reverse your blessing. But devil is a liar. He wants to kill your business. He wants to bring action. He wants to bring job loss. I pray for you, you will not lose your job. I pray for you, you will not lose your job. He wants to come delay your life. Devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus. We are going to pray to God this morning. Every agenda of darkness against me, against my household. Open your mouth this morning, wherever you have over the world, and begin to destroy the agenda of the devil to reverse your blessing. Open your mouth and pray to God. He wants to reverse your blessing. He wants to stop your blessing. He wants to cancel your blessing. He wants to, he, 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 he want to reverse your gain. Open your mouth and pray this morning and say, Lord, I destroy the agenda of the devil. I come again the power of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. My progress will not be reversed. My program will not be stopped. My program will not be stagnated. I will not lose my job. My business will not die. Open your mouth and pray to God this morning. Every agenda of the enemy. I concern my academy. I destroy this money in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' precious name, we pray. Amen. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, say, For we, for we wrestle not against the flesh and the blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rule of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in our places. We are going to go, we are going to pray this morning. And we are going to kill the demon of coronavirus. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Just one virus, nations and city are locked down. Just one virus. Businesses are closed down. Just one virus. Our streets are deserted. Just one virus. The places of worship are closed. Just one virus. Thousands of people, they have lost their life. Just one virus. Over one million people have been infected worldwide. We are going to pray to God at this hour because I told her last week, yesterday, I said the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. Hallelujah. Why? Because we are, we are fighting a spiritual battle. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to pray to God this morning. That is why the Bible says, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principality and power. We are going to pray to God this morning. The demon of coronavirus. Let the fire of God begin to consume you. Open your mouth and begin to pray and declare war against coronavirus all over the world. The coronavirus that has caused our city to be deserted, our street to be deserted, our marketplace to be closed, our place of worship to be closed. That coronavirus that has killed thousands of people, infected over one million all over the world, we come against your plan will come against your agenda. We command the fire of God to consume you. Open your mouth this morning and begin to pray against the demon called Corona Battle. We release fire against you. We release the blood of Jesus against you. We release the fire of the Holy Ghost against the demon called Corona Virus. In the mighty name of Jesus. You Corona Virus. We come against you. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Coronavirus is dead. Amen. Coronavirus is dead. Amen. Coronavirus is dead. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare open everywhere the enemy has closed. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our places of worship shall be open again. Amen. Our school shall be open again. Amen. Our nation and city that are locked down shall be open again. Amen. Our businesses shall be open again. Amen. Our streets shall be filled with people. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It shall be filled with people. Amen. It shall be filled with cars. It shall be filled with life Amen. all over the world. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the last Solo chapter 15 verse 26. The latter part of that scripture was Say, for I am the Lord that healed thee. For I am the Lord that healed thee. We are going to pray for healing. For all the people that are sick all over the world. There will have killed thousands of people. Over one million people have been infected. And I declare this morning, 
as many that be infected, they will not die. Amen. They shall be healed. Amen. I want us to just lift up our hands to God this morning and begin to pray to God. I say, Lord, as many that be infected by coronavirus, we decree healing in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever you have, begin to pray to God this morning. I say, Father, we pray for as many that are sick of coronavirus. We demand for healing. And we demand for healing in the name of Jesus. We demand for healing. In the name of Jesus, we demand for healing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we demand for healing in the name of Jesus. We demand for healing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we demand for healing. All over the world, we demand for healing. In Nigeria, in Africa, in Europe, in Asia, in Middle East, in South America, in North America, everywhere. Lord, we demand healing. We demand healing. What the my healing? What the my healing? What the my healing? What the my healing? When the sea for mankind by the blood of Jesus, we the my healing this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I declare healing upon the sick in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare healing upon the sick Amen. all over the world. Amen. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Our God is beautiful. Yes, Our God is great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today is the third day of the broadcast. And I'm so excited that you are joining me all over the world. And I'm praying to God in Jesus' name. That the God that you call upon, the God that you seek, you will find him. And you will have testimony. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This month you will triumph. Amen. This month you will win. Amen. This month you will conquer. Amen. You shall not be defeated. Amen. You will share your testimony. Amen. Total victory. Amen. Spiritual victory. Amen. Financial victory. Amen. Marital victory. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In every area of your life, you will experience victory. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Be the Lord who causes all to triumph in Christ Jesus always. Hallelujah. Amen. And I pray for you every day of your life, you will triumph. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So this morning we are continuing with our journey, victory over fear. Hallelujah. Victory Amen. over fear. Yesterday we look at part one, and today we are going to look at part two. The Bible says in Psalm 23, verse 4, it says, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Though I walk through the shadow of the through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. And in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and 7 say, be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto God and the peace of God that which passeth all understanding shall keep your heart and mind to Christ Jesus and I pray for you wherever you are all over the world that the peace of God that pass all understanding will keep your heart Amen. and your mind Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So yesterday I told us that fear is an unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger and of horror. Hallelujah. Amen. So fear can be described as an unpleasant emotion caused by threat of danger and pain or horror. Hallelujah. Amen. Also, fear can be described as a feeling you get when you are afraid. The feeling that you get when you are afraid. And yesterday, I started telling us about things that you need to know about fear. The first thing we talked about yesterday is that fear is a spirit. Though it cannot be seen with the naked eyes, but we can see the effect and the impact of fear. And that is what, was, what we have seen all over the world. Our city are locked down, our roads are deserted, our schools are closed, our business axes are closed, our marketplaces, they are closed. Why? Because there is fear everywhere. You can see there is social distancing, people need to sanitize their hands, people cannot hug, people cannot visit, because there is fear everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And the second thing I told you yesterday is that fear can kill. And that is why we must ensure that we keep fear. Because what is killing people today 
It is not coronavirus. What is killing people today? It is fear. Why? Because people are afraid of what to hit. They are afraid of job loss. People are afraid of, of business loss. They are afraid of sickness. Afraid of the satanic. There's so many things that is making people to be afraid. So what is killing people now fast is not coronavirus. What is killing people is fear. Hallelujah. Some people are already committing suicide because of the economy made them. They are afraid of what will become of them. Some people don't want to go to the experience of coronavirus sickness and they are afraid even when they have not had coronavirus. Some people want to kill themselves. They want to commit suicide. You are listening to me this morning and you want to commit suicide. Please don't commit suicide. Don't commit suicide at all. Devil is just a liar. And that is why you must be ready to keep your fear. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Fear Amen. can kill. And I pray for you and your household. Fear will not kill you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And the third thing I told us yesterday is that fear is not from God. The Bible says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, it says, For God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love. And of Samuel. So I told us that God does not manufacture fear. God does not distribute fear. He doesn't give fear. God does not retain fear. He doesn't keep fear. So he does not release fear. Hallelujah. Amen. So the fear is from the devil. And devil is a liar. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So fear is not from God. And the fourth thing I want us to know this morning about fear is that fear is contagious. Fear is contagious. When you talk about something contagious, it means it is infectious. It is, means it's communicable. It is transferable. It is transmissible. It is likely to spread and infect order. Hallelujah. Amen. So fear is contagious. Fear is contagious. What people are spreading now is fear. Hallelujah. People are just spreading fear. People are spreading fear all over the world. People are spreading fear in the city, in towns, in villages. There is fear everywhere. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. When you Amen. look at the book of Numbers chapter 13, verse 27 to, 30, to, to 33, you will see what happened. When Moses said, send, send the twelve spies to go and spy the land of, of Canaan. And the Bible says that the twelve people returned back with bad report. Just only two people. Return with good report. It was only Caleb and Joshua that came back with evil, I mean with good report. But the ten people came back with with uh, with uh, with a bad report. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The question this morning is that who, who, whose report will you believe? I want us to believe the report of God. Hallelujah. Amen. It will start spreading fear because fear is contagious. Fear is contagious. When the people, when the people heard about the bad report, the people started crying. They lost hope in God and everything. Else. They have forgotten that the God that began a good work in their life is able to complete it. If God could take you through 2019, He can take you through 2020. If God could help you in January, he help you in February, he help you in March, He will help you in the month of April. He will help you in the month of May. You will see the end of this year. You will see 2021. You will see 2030. You will see 2040. In the mighty name of Jesus. So fear is contagious. We must not spread fear. We must spread faith. And I pray to, for us in the mighty name of Jesus that fear will not, will not have power over us in the mighty name of Jesus. We must never spread fear. Fear. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you have coronavirus already, it is not a death sentence. And I pray for you, you will not die. Amen. Your family will not die. Amen. You will not lose your loved ones. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. If you are already afflicted, the Bible says many are the affliction of the righteous. But the Lord deliver them from their home. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have coronavirus, you will not have it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So the fifth thing we need to understand about fear is that fear can be killed. Fear can be killed. Mm -hmm. And I believe by the grace of God, I begin to start a series tomorrow, how to overcome fear, how to keep fear, how to take fear away. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. When you look at the book of Daniel, Chapter 3, the Bible told us about the Nebuchadnezzar. Hallelujah. And Amen. I mean, about the three Hebrew 
the two Hebrew men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Hallelujah. Amen. When the king set up an idol and he was asking everyone to worship it. But these three men, they decided not to worship the idol. And the king, Nebuchadnezzar, told them, he said, if you don't worship my idol, I'm going to put you inside the fire. And they told the king, he said, well, concerning this matter, we are not careful to answer you. This matter is not a matter we need to go home and consider. We will not bow down for your king. And they used fire to threaten them. But one thing we need to know in that passage is that fire had power. But upon these people, the fire lost power. I'm praying for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Coronavirus is potent, it has power. But upon your body, upon your family, it has lost power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Coronavirus has lost power in your family. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When you look at Daniel chapter 6, lion had power. But upon the body of Daniel, Lion lost power. And I pray for you in the name of Jesus. The enemy is powerful. But upon your body, in your household, in your destiny, it has lost power in the name of Jesus. Amen. When you look at the book of Acts 28, serpent had power. But upon the body of Saul, serpent lost power. I decree over you. In the mighty name of Jesus, you shall not be afraid. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So when you look at these people, they keep fear. They were not afraid. Why? Because they know their God. The Bible says, those that know their God, they shall be strong and they will do exploit. So you can see Paul, he was able to do exploit because he knew his God. He has keep fear, he was not afraid of something. What of Daniel? Daniel was, he has keep fear, he was not afraid of lion. Shadows, the Meshach and Abednego, they are keep fear, they were not afraid of the fire. When they entered to the fire, the fire did not burn them. Why? Because they part, the fire had power. But upon these people, the fire lost power. I pray for you this morning that the enemy has lost power over your life, over your destiny, Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I want to come out this morning and begin to appreciate him this morning because coronavirus has lost power in your world, he has lost power in your family, the enemy has lost power in your life, in your destiny. Give thanks to God this morning because the enemy has lost power in your life, he has lost power in your family, in your destiny. Give thanks to God this morning. Give thanks to God this morning because the enemy has lost power in your family. He has lost power in your destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maso Kayandere Inuho. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. In Psalm 23, verse 4 says, He said, Yet though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. But thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff. The comfort, whatever may be happening all over the world. I will not be afraid because God is with me. Amen. Hallelujah. We are going to pray to God this morning. Amen. We are going to pray for those people that are freed all over the world. That the Almighty God will surround them with faith. Amen. The Lord will surround them with hope. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Why? Because people are afraid today. They are afraid of what to eat. They are afraid of job loss. So people are thinking, okay, after this coronavirus, I'm, 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 I'm at lose my job. Some people are thinking out. Oh. So some parents now what they are thinking is about school fees. So after coronavirus, I'm not working, I'm not earning money. I'm going to pay school fees. Some people are afraid of their of their rent. Some people are afraid of the business collapse. Some are lost investment. But Bible says, fear not. We are going to pray to God this morning. As many that are afraid this morning, that the Almighty God will surround them with the spirit of faith. Amen. Open your mouth and begin to pray this Amen. morning. And pray for yourself and pray for your soul. That the Almighty God will surround you with faith. He will surround you with faith. He will surround you with, with hope. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray to God this morning. Say, Lord, I come again the spirit of fear. I come again the spirit of fear. In my life, in my household, in my destiny. I come again the spirit of fear. In the name of Jesus. I come again the spirit of fear. I come again the spirit of fear. God has not given me the spirit of fear. I come again the spirit of fear. Lord, surround me with, with faith. Surround me with hope. I pray for everyone I pray. All over the world. My God and my Savior. Surround them with faith. Surround them with faith. In the name of Jesus. In Africa. In America. In Europe. In Asia. All over the world. My God, surround them with faith. In the name of Jesus. 
Lord will intercede for them. We come again the spirit of fear all over the world. We come again the spirit of fear all over the world. We come again the spirit of fear all over the world. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful God. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. This morning you are going to plead the blood of Jesus over yourself, over your household. And I pray for you this morning. After this battle, you will not be missing. Amen. Say after this battle, you will not be missing. Amen. In number 31, verse 49, the Bible says, And they said to Moses, Thy servant has taken the sum of the men of war, which are under our charge. And there lacker not one man of us. No one was missing. Of all the people you put in my charge, no one was missing. I pray for you this morning, no one will be missing. Amen. In the NIV, NIV, the Bible says, And said to him, Your servant have counted the soldiers under our command, and not one is missing. Not one, not one, not one was missing. Everybody was accounted for. You are going to pray to God this morning and pray for yourself and your household that no one will be missing Amen. in your household among your loved ones. Open your mouth and begin to plead the blood of Jesus over yourself, over your household, and say, My God and my Savior, no one will be missing. In my household, nobody will be missing. No one will be missing. No one will be missing. No one will be missing. My God and my Savior. Among my loved ones, no one will be missing. We shall not keep, we shall not die. We shall not die. We shall not bury. Open your mouth and begin to pray all over the world. And begin to pray. No one will be missing. 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 In the name of Jesus, no one will be missing. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. In Romans chapter 8, verse 28 says, And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them who are called according to his purpose. I pray for you that in this time, at this time, Jesus. all things shall work together for your good. Amen. All things shall work together for your good. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to pray this morning and say, Lord, I receive grace for testimony. Amen. In this season of lockdown, there shall be fresh ideas. Amen. There shall be fresh power. Amen. There shall be fresh ability. Amen. There will be new anointing. Amen. There will be new connection. Amen. There will be fresh grace for supernatural sleep. Amen. By, the, by the time you come at the other side, you will have big testimony. Amen. I believe so. You are wanting to pray to God this morning. Bible says all things are working together for good to them that love God. Enemy met it for evil, but it will result in testimony for you. Amen. I want you to pray to God. Say, Lord, I receive grace for testimony. I receive grace for testimony. Lord, I receive grace for testimony. I receive grace for testimony. I receive grace for celebration. I receive grace for victory. I receive grace, Lord, to triumph. Grace to triumph, Lord. That this season will work for my good. I will maximize this season. That shall be new ideas. That shall be new power. That shall be new anointing. That shall be new connection. That shall be great for supernatural speed. Supernatural speed. Supernatural speed. My God and my Savior, supernatural speed. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. I want us to give thanks to God this morning for what He has done. Amen. Just appreciate Him. Just appreciate Him because God has given us victory over fear. He has given us victory over fear. Thank you, faithful God. In Jesus' precious name we give thanks. Amen. So tomorrow I want you to join me for, for another episode. It's going to be 5.30 a.m. Nigerian time. So please get yourself and your household ready. And I pray the Lord is going to bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. So tomorrow we begin to take the journey to the another level. And it's going to be, we begin to talk how to keep faith, how to overcome faith. Amen. And I pray to God the Lord will help us 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We just give thanks to God this morning for Lord, what you have done. We just give thanks to God. Lord, we give thanks. Give thanks to God for what you have done. Thank, thank you, you, faithful God. Thank you. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Father, we just thank you for what you have done this morning. Amen. Thank you for the release of your grace and your power. Amen. In the praise forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for your people that this morning, in the name of Jesus, that this season shall be for their good in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. There shall be new ideas. Amen. There shall be fresh power. Amen. There shall be fresh ability. Amen. There shall be new anointing. Amen. New connection. Amen. Grace for supernatural speed. After Amen. this episode, let it rest upon your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. People will testify of restoration. Amen. Total restoration. Amen. Total Amen. victory. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I pray for you today. The Lord will cause today to be a good day for you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You will not receive bad news. Amen. 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 Thank you, faithful God. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Jesus. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. God Amen. Bless you. See you tomorrow. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Amen. God bless you. Like you Jesus.